Algebra 1, Unit 2B Study Guide, Numbers 13 and 14. So we're going to solve and graph the inequalities. And now these have multiple steps. So you just take each problem one at a time. And number 13, see that you've got a parenthesis. So that means you're going to distribute. Multiply that number across. So 2 times 8 is 16x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Then just bring down the right side of the inequality. Now let's collect variables on one side. So let's subtract your 16x's over. When you do that, you see that your x's will subtract out. So you'll get negative 4 is greater than positive 9. When your variables go away, you look and see, is this statement true? Well, it's not true that negative 4 is greater than 9. Not true. So that means that there is no solution for this inequality. If we had gotten a statement that was true, like negative 4 is less than 9, then we would have infinitely many solutions. That means any number that you put in will make that inequality true. So on number 14, let's take a look at this problem. Well, the first thing we need to do to get x by itself is to add 7 to both sides. So we'll just bring down negative x divided by 4 is greater than 9 and 7 is 16. Now we need to undo this division by negative 4, so we're going to multiply each side by negative 4. So that'll become positive x. When we multiply each side by a negative, we need to reverse the inequality, and then negative 64. So to graph that, I'm just going to make a graph where I have a positive and a negative 64 to quickly establish a scale. So I have an open circle because it's simply less than. And then my shaded area needs to be everything that's less than 64. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'm going to shade to the, to the left. 